how is that we've seen a couple clips from the last couple days of connecting with Dontavian how has that relationship grown especially after he said his injury year was obviously tough because you lost a little bit of that connection have you felt that really start to reemerge or back at full strength yeah I think it has reemerged uh we've gained a lot in the spring ball we gained a lot so far in fall camp uh a lot of good things. We're seeing the same thing, the same coverages. He's adjusting his routes the same way. I'm thinking he's going to adjust them, and it's been uh, it's been uh, it's been enjoyable to watch. I mean, we make, we're making a lot of plays right now with him, so um, hopefully that just keeps elevating. We just stay consistent with that, and uh, and you guys can see it in fall. Like so, so. And you mentioned at media day a couple weeks ago that this season you felt like you were understood the offense and could now focus on reading the defense. Have you felt good about that so far this season? Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel, I mean, yeah, that's all I focus on now is just what's the defense trying to do. Um, the offense is just, you know, like reading a book or like the back of your hand. Um, yeah, it's all focused on what the defense is doing and little things that I can do maybe to change the like change the route to give us a better option. Um, but, yeah, I think I've developed a, a lot in that type of uh, play as a quarterback. Caroline's first question. Um, you know, you develop chemistry a little bit better with Wicks once came back from injury, but between spring and fall, you're able to, you know, throw with your wide receivers, and you didn't have that last year. How has that benefited you going to this fall camp, and how has that helped your confidence knowing that you know your wide receivers so much better compared to your first season? Yeah, I mean, it's benefited so much. I mean, for me, you know, jumping in and being the starter, um, not having that off season to get to with the receivers, you know, Rashawn came in during that like springtime, uh, being a transfer. Wicks coming back, um, Lavelle coming in, like there's just a bunch of new parts that are in, on the team during that time, and just having this time now through spring ball and the off season and fall camp, like you just you just can't. I don't I don't know how to describe it. Like you just can't you can't get that stuff back, and that's why we have to take full advantage of it when we have the opportunity to have it. Brennan, what kind of weapon has Jelani Woods been for you throughout the spring and I guess the early practices here in, in fall? Yeah, Jelani's been a huge weapon. Uh, yeah, he can do it all, I guess. Um, someone that is dynamic, fast, can go up, catch it, uh, you know, be a bully in the middle of the field. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens on the field come uh, the first game. Brennan, you have uh, you all were pretty confident in the offense coming out of the spring. Just kind of how is you know getting back for fall camp kind of you know maybe increase that confidence and how the level this offense can reach this year? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of confidence in this offense to begin with. Um, coming into spring or going into spring, um, I was just you know feeling it out, making sure we we're on the same page, and boom, we hit the ground running pretty fast, and the offense was clicking right away. So that surprised me. And then we're just trying to keep that momentum rolling through fall into. Uh, fall camp into the uh, season. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of guys. I think a lot of guys will start to, if they're not yet confident in our offense, I think they're going to be. But I, I've been confident with just the guys and the experience that we have coming back. And I heard you coming on. You've gotten that Conor McGregor comparison before. Wicks made it the other day. <laughs> just what, uh, what do you make of that? And kind of how do you, how do you see your swagger when you're out there on the field? Uh, I don't know if I could be so like vulgar like Connor can on the on the mic, but um, yeah, no, I get, I, I can see why you know Tay says that he likes he thinks it's the beard, he thinks it's the Irish, that's why he kind of made that comparison. But uh, yeah, no, I feel like on the field I'm, I'm pretty I'm like Connor, I guess I'm not really flashy like he is, but I like to you know heat it up, turn up the heat a little bit, and uh, you know show emotion. So, but yeah, Tay, that's been an inside joke. That kind of just started like the beginning, end of spring ball, the beginning of fall camp. So, yeah, that's a funny one. I didn't, I didn't think that was gonna get out to the media. Coach Beck said, uh, you know, you've already, you've always had that like swagger and you know personality coming in, but it's been like funneling it now, you know, into your play and kind of improving and you know, you know, forgetting some of the mistakes and moving on to the next play. How have you kind of seen yourself kind of channeling that uh, personality into your game? Uh, I guess I know when to use it and when not to use it. But in reality, I don't really like think about it. I just use it when I feel like I use, should use it, or like you know, I just I don't think about it anymore. I mean, I really never thought about it. I just maybe it developed. However, it just it's developed through college and playing and things like that. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't think about think about how I use it or anything like that. It just it just comes out. So. Brennan, how how much more explosive could this offense be this year if you get more production from the traditional run game? and kind of ease your load in that aspect of the offense. Yeah, I would say, I mean, that's a huge part. Uh, if we can... Uh... Oops. Uh, hold on a second. Somebody's not muted here. See you guys later. Hey, uh, Stay cool, baby. Hey, Ed Lane. Eddie. Yeah, uh, yep. I'm not muted. Sorry about that. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> I'm saying bye to my kids. <laughs> Tell them have a good day. I don't know if you know. <laughs> uh, traditional run game, right? Um, yes, sir, sir. So, yeah, um, I think if we can do that, I mean, like you said, it takes, a, it takes some pressure off me running the ball. Um, I, think it's, I think it's very possible. I think with the schemes we have, uh, the guys coming back, you know, the running back room, I think there's a lot of, a lot of improvement that we're seeing. Uh, we haven't went full pads yet, so, you know, we're just, you know, have thumpers on or just shells. So we haven't got to see the full effect of a run game and, you know, the breaking tackles, the dynamics, the, the dynamic in our running back room. But I think we're going to have it. I really do. With our O-line and uh, our running backs, I think we're going to have it. And our tight ends. Our tight ends are huge. They're great blockers. Um, and, that you know, we need that stuff for our run game, especially in our traditional. Thank you. Brennan, you told us in Charlotte that uh... – that you got a call from Coach TJ, 2J, and the and Coach Beck about after, I guess it was several months after you had committed to Minnesota, uh, and I asked Jason about that, and he said that, that part of the way that they got you to change your mind and come to Virginia was 2J something that he calls the woo factor. Uh, can you talk about that conversation and what oh, TJ man. may have said? I, that's been four years ago. I don't. I'm trying to remember. Um, what did he say? I mean, I mean overall, I don't remember the conversation. I just remember overall, I had a, I just had a change of heart. Uh, I never signed anything, so I wasn't committed to really anybody. And uh, I just, I just felt like Virginia was the right place, so that's why I changed it. Um, but yeah, just with Coach Beck and Two J being that voice that came in that I, they, that haven't hasn't been there through like my season. They kind of checked in on me again. And then just having that come back, I just thought, hey, maybe I wasn't making, was maybe I wasn't going to the right place. And so that's kind of how I, I changed. And uh, can, can you talk about Keaton and, and what a playmaker he can be in your offense? Yeah, Keaton, um, he does it all. Everyone knows that. Swiss Army Knife, uh, just a bunch of different nicknames. Um, yeah, no, he, he's going to do it all. He's going to help us a lot. He's going to, you know, he's going to, hopefully he's a, uh, Scoring a lot of touchdowns, obviously, but um, yeah, I don't want to give away too much. But yeah, he's he's gonna be doing doing a, doing a lot of stuff. Kind of along those same lines, but with all the different like Keaton back for another year and some of the other weapons you've added, and just how creative has the coaching staff gotten early on with just ways you can utilize these different guys and go at teams offensively? Yeah, we've uh, we we get creative, like especially right now, we're able to be creative and try different things, see how they work. Um, I think, I think a lot of the thing thing is too like we're able to run it. Like we practice it. Like right now in fall, like we will get one script and then boom, the next day a new one. So like a lot of the guys are working really hard to study their stuff and come in the next day, be ready for practice and know their stuff. And with all the sh like motions and different things like that, the little you know twists that they have in our uh, scripts, that a lot of guys can run them and we run them well, especially out here on the practice field with just one day. So that I think kudos to our guys that can uh, learn those stu learn that stuff and go out and perform it the next day. And just with the coaches, you know, being creative uh, just helps us, you know, come up with different things. We've got time for one more question. Brandon, what aspect of your game would you say has taken the biggest jump from year one as a starter to now? Uh, I would say decision making. I just, I, I just think overall, I just know where the ball should go. Um, I don't get flustered if you know maybe my one two option isn't there anymore. Um, I think that's a huge thing. I my one two is not there. I can get to my three, you know, move out of the pocket, find something, not try to force something. Um, I think that's probably the biggest, uh, you know, jump I've made.